Hello all fellow Canadians, this is the practitioner here. What does uh, happy 141 years of Canada mean to me? Well, I'd like to kind of go over this briefly. Um, Canada to me means the, well I hate to say it, but it's the best country on earth as far as I can consider. We stem from a tradition of democracy from the British standpoint, but unlike the American system, we have the capability of slowing ourselves down to a certain extent. Our entire process, as I've said in previous videos, is based on deliberation, based on logic, reason, well, attempting to at any rate, in theory, and, um, you know, free health care, um, you know, for, for everybody. I mean, granted, the quality may not be as good as that which some Americans can afford, but at least we can get health care, um, you know, for those, you know, at least we don't go bankrupt getting a we don't go, go bankrupt getting it. We get a constant rate we have to pay premiums for, um, you know, to the government. We have an education system that's not been plagued by the religious fights that the United States has, at least not to the same extent. We haven't had a major creation versus evolution debate in our school system. We're not having one. We have a much higher secular based than atheistic community. We don't have politicians trying to um, run their, uh, you know, we don't have politicians trying to, um, how should we say, appeal to Jesus uh, in order to get voted in. I mean, there was the previous conservative party, which is now in power, but they they got in based on the uh, pro, based on the financial, uh, by, based on the fiscal uh, uh, irresponsibility of the liberals, not on the fact that they were praying to God. That was a side note for him. Stephen Harper's work. Oh, and here's the funny bit: we also have religious politicians who are open-minded. Stephen Harper rather than being like most uh, religious right politicians who would try to get rid of homosexuality um, like the US like uh, Bush has done trying to ban it from the uh, from the US or what have you Stephen Harper um, when he uh, he thought the liberals had put it in arbitrarily he put it to a national vote yes he actually put the whole issue of he said okay I have a problem with it but you know I don't think the liberals were responsible enough because they didn't actually put it to a vote so I want to see what the population thinks he put it to a vote. I don't remember if it was a just a government vote, a proper government vote, or the federal vote. But either way, um, when the vote passed, uh, you know, with a severe majority in favor of gay marriage, he said, "All right, let's keep it in." You know, he was an open-minded type. I mean, he may be a religious right type, but at least he was somewhat open-minded. He also understood the need that um, that the Kyoto Protocols were didn't do diddly squat, but at least he put, put forward a plan. Now, you know, granted, his plan doesn't really work very well. <laughs> but then again, neither did the liberal plan. You know, um, I mean, the one-ton challenge was nowhere near enough. Um, you know, the carbon tax credits, at least, uh, Campbell, uh, um, he's been good enough to avoid. But, you know, the point is that he's at least putting in a plan to seriously start dealing with some of the problems of global warming. Unlike his conservative partner down in the United States, down in the South, George W. Bush, who um, doesn't deal with that, you know. Um, what are the other things that make Canada better? Oh, yes. We have a optional, we have a, uh, a slightly different legal system based on the fact that we have an optional um, system in criminal court as to whether a person wants to get tried by a judge or a jury. If the person wants to get tried by a judge, they don't have to worry about the jury of their peers happen to get, uh, they don't have to worry about 12 stupid people or 12 uh, people who they don't think might have enough um, knowledge or expertise to be able to properly assess the evidence in a, any particular case. They can rely on a judge who might be a bit better educated. On the other hand, if they think the judge is corrupt, they can also get 12 people who are a jury of their peers to prevent corruption in the, uh, in the government system. Or, uh, or a judge who may be stupid, and they might think that the, um, the average person is educated better than, uh, than the judge is, uh, at least in specific issues. You see my point? They've got the jury of the peers, or they've got the judge. They have their choice. And, uh, you know, and then the, they have their choice in any particular crim criminal case, and they can move to get either one. Unlike the U.S., which always works by a jury of one's peers. You know, there's an option, you know, there's a, the, the, the defendant has a, a choice in how they get tried. You know, and they always get a trial, of course, with, with the exceptions of, uh, oh, and here's another thing. We also put a statute of limitations into our terrorist legislation. The U.S. were not, the U.S. were incompetent enough not only to not read the terrorist legislation, the, the U.S. government was not only incompetent enough to not read the terrorist legislation before it went through, but they didn't put anything in there about uh, about removing outdated and useless techniques on dealing with, uh, you know, which are still, which could still infringe on the rights of American citizens and are no longer effective in dealing with terrorist legislation. 
Canada, we were smart enough to slow, we were smart enough and watered enough down that though we put in a system that was similar to the US, Bill Section C36, we slowed down our processes of the government. We deliberated and we put in a five year review plan. We put it up that the that the any legislation in this area had to come back under review by the House of Commons in every every five years. And any amendment and any clauses which were no longer effective or no longer needed were eliminated. And guess what? When we discovered that we could use standard police work methods, um, you know, that were used prior to 9-11, uh, uh, you know, that were used prior to this anti-terrorist legislation to catch terrorists who were ready to, uh, who were wanting to assassinate our prime minister with a sword and blow up the CN Tower. Like when we used uh, standard techniques like tapping internet chat rooms and, you know, and normal methods of police work that didn't involve, you know, uh, keeping people for uh, indefinitely without parole or depriving them of their legal rights. When we used traditional techniques, we removed two of the five, we removed two of the five clauses that were normally in the bill section 36 because they were deemed no longer necessary. And we've been fine. And we've been fine ever since. The only case where we nearly had um, uh, an actual terrorist threat in Canada, we caught it using old-fashioned police methods, and we removed stuff. The U.S., how many terrorist cases have you had since 9-11? One or two possible threats, and you probably even haven't had any need of half the stuff that the Patriot Act puts in. Your government is incompetent. I hate to say it, but your government system is incompetent. They don't take the time to read the legislation, um, you know, per what Penn and Teller suggested, and they don't even have, um, you know, the, and they don't take the time for reason or deliberation. They work based on faith, based on manifest destiny, based on all this other stuff. Canada is based on deliberation, based on logic, and based on reason. And I think that that is what makes us, and also because of the fact that we also demand equal education and equal rights for all, including free health care, um, you know, I think that that is what makes us one step better than the United States. We have the exact same sort of system of democracy and, uh, you know, and freedom and all that. We end up following many of the policies of the U.S., but the difference is we do it smarter. And I think that that's what the, um, and here's another uh, stat. 60% of the U.S., according to the last Gallup poll, believes that the, bio, that the biblical creation story is literal fact. That percentage is significantly lower in Canada. They're, the bulk of people are actually following science like evolutionary theory and the like. Sorry, I hate to say it, but you know, when it comes to the US um, overall, I'd have to say that Canada is considerably, is considerably better because we're based the secular nation. We have, we not only believe in church, uh, separation of church and state, it's been in from the very beginning. We've had, um, we've had rights enshrined for everybody, not just for majorities, but for minorities enshrined in our charter to prevent a prosecution by the minority of the majority or vice versa. So this way everybody got protected. We gave equal rights to everybody, you know, including free health care enshrined in. We have a we have a basis of slowed deliberation, a history of this, and we've removed legislation that is no longer necessary, whereas you guys have kept stuff on the books for years that, do, that is no longer necessary, including um, some of the laws in 44 states which actually forbid um, the state from uh, um, infringing on uh, you know, uh, from prosecuting child abuse cases where children are deprived of medical attention because of religious basis, uh, you have politicians who are constantly appealing to a religious, uh, a religious uh, uh, population in order to get voted in, and you have um, a government that doesn't even read its legislation or put in, um, you know, put in review periods to be able to actually take a look at the legislation and see if it's any, if it's any necessary any longer, if it was even necessary in the first place. Sorry, I know I'm getting a tad emotional here, but I think you get my point. Canada, smarter than the U.S. Canada, same rights as the U.S., but with a smart, you know, same rights and everything as the U.S., but with a slowed down and more deliberating system. As for England, doesn't even have half the rights we do. You know, we've, we've, we've improved ourselves thanks to a little bit of taking both British and American systems and creating something new. France and the like? Well, we already know that they're in large chunks. They're worse than the U.S., which says, well, what do, you, what do you know about that? China and Japan. China's a dictatorship. Japan has a nice sense of order, but still doesn't have a, uh, is quite a democratic system. You know, I hate to say it, but I personally think that Canada is the best place to live. I mean, America may have all its values and the Bill of Rights and the like, but Canada, unlike the U.S., not only applies those, but we also apply them using rational means as opposed to just things based on religion. Sorry. I just have to say, I think that Canada, based on that one reason alone, is better than the U.S. Just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Toodles.